last night Skylum quietly released a new update for Luminar Neo with number 1.18.2. And while it doesn't bring any new tools or features, it brings one really important update and improvement on reading the DNG files in the application. Now this update will be very interesting for many photographers, but mostly the drone operators and drone photographers out there. So let's jump into the list and let me tell you everything about it. Starting from the beginning, we're gonna first look at the list of all the enhancements coming with the update 1.18.2. After that, we're gonna move into the application and I will show you some of the updates there. Now, one more time, the update is focusing more on a stable performance and bug fixes. So let's go through the list and see what we can expect. Starting from the top, the onboarding process is now available for Luminar Neo lifetime license owners as well as Luminar Neo subscribers. This onboarding process will help you to master the photo enhancing tools and perfect images in any genre in no time. Moving on, you will also notice better metadata reading for DNG files, which means more accurate image opening. This actually includes correct colors and vignetting, especially on results created from drawn photos. And I did some testing there and I have to say that the improvement is huge, starting from the point when we were getting lots of haze and wrong colors to the point where now you can really take a raw file from your drone and edit it completely using just Luminar Neo. So on the top of it, the panorama stitching extension also received this update and now give you much better results. So once we move into Luminar Neo, I will show you both of these examples on example from the previous version of Luminar Neo and with the example right now. Skylum also mentioned that they increased the overall stability of the app with more enjoyable use of presets and also syncing adjustments. As always, on the top of everything, they caught several bugs and fixed them. And if you want to go through the full list of improvements, you can always jump to the Skylum website at skylum.com slash forward what's new slash forward Luminar Neo. Now let's look at some additional news about Luminar Neo. First of all, we have access to a special 30% discount on Luminar Neo until the 15th of February. So if you are thinking about purchasing the application, renewing your subscription or switching from lifetime to subscription model, then the 30% discount is a great way of getting the best possible price. Now to access it, the only way to do that, you need to follow the link in the description of this video. And don't forget that it's only available until the 15th of February. Additionally, I also want to talk to you about our Luminar Neo Essential Preset Bundle. Yes, this bundle has a 41 preset collections. It includes more than 400 professional presets specifically designed for Luminar Neo. However, the main reason why I want to talk to you about it is one of these collections. This preset bundle includes essential panorama presets which are amazing tool that can really help you to edit and transform your panorama images. So if you're now going to be editing your panoramas from your drone shots or drone shots in overall, the landscape preset collections, including the essential panorama presets that are part of this incredible preset bundle is a great way to start your editing process. Now they are going for $39 right now. And if you want to get them for this price, follow the link in the description of this video. Or to find out more about the bundle, you can visit our website, cleverphotographer.com. Okay, so moving into Luminar Neo and the catalog module, where we're going to look at the onboarding feature. So since it's now available for both Luminar Neo subscribers and lifetime users, we should go back and remind ourselves what is this feature about. Now, first of all, to access it again, 
you need to be in the catalog module. And then we're going to be focusing on the left side of our screen on the top where you can see all your photos and under you should see the folder called sample images. Once you click on it, you will see a number of photos with this little yellow icon in the top left corner. From here, you just gonna select the image and then move it into edit module. Once you do that, the image will appear and it will have these yellow labels on it. So for example, on this image, we can see the replace the sky, add powerful cinematic effects and also create expressive palettes. So what you can do now, you can actually click on the label and read the text under it. So amplify contrasts to create a captivating visual narrative. Once you click on it, it will open the tool you're supposed to use. So for this specific adjustments, we should use the dramatic tool. So all we need to do is to take the amount slider and increase it. And as we do that, when you get to the certain point, the label will disappear. And of course it will adjust the image. So I think somewhere around 60 looks quite good on this photo. So let's just close it and move on through our list. Next label say create expressive palettes. Control the intensity of colors in a photo. So let's click on it and see what tool it will open. And looking at it, it opened the color tool. So let's have a look if we increase the saturation a little bit, it will actually add a little bit of a contrast and punch. We can also add a little bit of vibrance and I think that looks quite good. And again, once you make the adjustments, the label will disappear. So basically the onboarding process allow you to open the image, try different tools and see how they adjust your photos. Now moving to the second improvement, which include the enhanced reading of the DNG files in Luminar Neo. This means that we will get more accurate image opening resulting in showing correct colors and vignetting. Again, as I mentioned earlier, this especially apply to images captured by drones. Now I'm really excited about this feature as I personally love taking drone photos. But until now, I always had to do the initial editing and development in another application as really the DNG image didn't look great in Luminar Neo. Now to show you the difference between how the DNG looks right now and how it looked in the last update, let's go back into the application and let's have a look at the example. So I have the two images here. This one is how it was showing in the version 1.8.0. And this is the actual raw file, how it shows now. So let's have a look at the first one and let me tell you why I didn't like to do the development here. Now looking at it, you can see the heavy vignette, but the part I was really struggling with were the colors. Looking at the image, you can see it yourself. It has this kind of funny gray green haze and color leak in all of these areas here. And on the top of it, that golden hour, the yellow and warmth kind of look more orangey and it also isn't as good as it should be. Now I try different workarounds. I tried the HSL panel. I try the curves, also the white balance, but it never really look great. But now when we look at the second image, you can immediately see the improvement. You can really see how much improvement is there on the vignetting as well as the colors. So now when we take the image and jump into the edit module, we can just very quickly apply a little bit of enhanced AI, let's say somewhere around here, a little bit of sky enhancer, and then maybe in the landscape tool, a touch of golden hour color right here. And just like that, we have a result, which is really nice. Now, of course, we would do much more editing to it, a little bit of cropping, making sure it's aligned and then play around with the noise and details and so on. However, with three sliders on the raw file coming straight from the drone, I think the result is great and it's a massive improvement that I'm really excited about. And finally, for the third improvement, we're going to stick with the drones, but we're going to be focusing on the panorama stitching. Following the same issue where we have a difficulty with the vignetting and colors, in past, if you were trying to stitch drone photos together, you had a lots of issues there. 
let me bring it into edit module. This is the file from the previous version of Luminar Neo. And let me show you what I am talking about. Now let's make it nice and visible. Let's just open the shadows and maybe add a little bit of, no, bring down the exposure. And once we do that, when you look at the image, I hope you can see it on your screen, you will start to see the kind of transition between the different photos. So there is one photo here and one photo here, and you can really see the lines which are mostly coming from the vignetting. So it was difficult to blend the vignetting together. So you got one line here and another line here, and then another line here and so on. Now, this depends on how the pictures were captured, the direction of the light and so on, but really it was difficult to use it. And again, you couldn't really use the panorama stitching for drone captures. However, with this version 1.8.2, we see a massive improvement on this. Again, let's open it, bring it into edit module, and you can see all these highlights and all these dividers are gone. So again, two massive improvements for drone photographers. First, the explanation of the RAW file, where you can now get much better colors and also much better work with the vignetting. And on top of it, this put together really helps us that we can now stitch together drone photos and create amazing panoramas using the panorama stitching extension. And that's all the news for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future news or updates. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name was Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.